Hi, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a tip set, but I'm going to use these nails to extend the full colour cover tips I've got on my stand. Put my gloves on. Hope everyone's okay. Sun is beaming where I am. Just buffing off these tips, getting them ready so I can extend them with those other tips. Now they were a square tip that I bought from Sheen, they're like a free XL. And I just cut the tips at the end to make them into a more of a gothic almond. No, what's the word, what are they? I don't know. Pointy at the end, like um, a chevron at the end. I'm actually using Builder Gel to attach these to the um, full cover tips. I'll just show you one. These tips, these full cover tips are actually sized for my hand. So I could wear them at some point. I don't actually wear them in this video though because I already had nails on. So here they are, all extended. I'm just going to put on a thin layer of Builder Gel just to strengthen them. Okay, so cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm now going to build out a nail bed on, I think it's two of the nails. Yeah. And then I'm going to do full cover on another two. And then the last one, the pinky, I do with clear. I think that's the right order anyway. So I'm just going to use the cleanse solution from the nail team just as a slip solution for the poly gel. I will list everything that I've used today in my description. I don't normally use poly gel, I usually use builder gel, so I did sort of play around with this quite a lot because it's not something that I particularly like using, that's why I don't use it. As I say, I took forever to extend this nail bed. And I think, I think that I think it's actually wonky a little bit, but I didn't notice until I started to Sorry about that, I don't know what I was doing there. I thought I'd leave it in just because I'm silly. So I'm just going back in and making them that um, nail bed higher so that I can, when I do the design, 
I've got a good high wall to file and really have a nice crisp edge to work on. Bloody fluff everywhere. I didn't record all of the nails because I was annoying myself. <laughs> so I went away and come back and did them another time. So I'm just putting down some base coat so that I can um, use Builder Gel on that nail when I put the design on the extension. This is the Nail Nails Foil Glue, Foil Gel Glue, Gel Foil Glue. Yeah, so I've covered the whole nail with that because that's going to be a full cover of that um, summer burst transfer foil from Charlie's Nail Art. This is Yellow Clips from Blue Sky and I am just painting the edge of the chevron nail bed. I do do two coats of that but I do that off camera. So this is the lovely foil from Charlie's. It's so retro looking. It's just so bright and summery. Super fast transferring. But it is a really, really nice transfer foil. I am an ambassador for Charlie's Nail Art, so if you want to hop over to her website and get yourself some gorgeous nail goodies, you can use my code AN10 and get a 10% discount on top of the already amazing prices. didn't put enough glue on the tip so it doesn't transfer. There we go, look at that. Just so vibrant it's beautiful i mean it's like a peach underneath isn't it it's a cover pink it's meant to be but it's more nudey peachy color i think but you can see there where i am um, hadn't put enough transfer glue on just didn't take the other problem is as well i didn't top coat first which helps the glue so on this side nail bed, I'm going to build up another another part of it with white builder poly gel. Far too much out the pot. I'm just trying to make it really high but also make sure it's not too thick at the tip as well so I'm just playing with it just to spread it out and get the right height and also do it as neat as possible because you can spend less time filing then 
that is one of the good things about poly gel is you know it goes where you want it to go and there is very little finish filing I just spent about two weeks doing that white line and I put far too much on Okay, so this is a clear poly gel. I think it's called natural clear. So it's not crystal clear, I don't think. It's more, it's murky a little bit. Just going over where I've done the yellow, just so we have that sort of border around the chevron. And just patting and pressing and moving it into place so that I've got nice crisp sides. Could have actually done with putting a bit more of that clear on because the yellow gets a little bit lost I think at the end but you'll see you can see say what you think at the end but yeah I could have done with a little bit more of that clear okay so here's that nail now it's all filed and buffed and I'm just painting the tip with white I do two coats of this but I only do one on camera I think So here it is all cured and we're going to go in with the foil glue and just cover that white tip with the foil glue because we're going to use that transfer foil again so it's going to be embedded in the design. Just add a little bit of dimension. Job, job. This is a really nice transfer foil, I do love it. But I like yellows and oranges, so it's not so pretty. And on the back, on the white um, background, it just pops even more, makes it even more lovely. See how easy that's coming off now because I've top coated it before I put the glue on. Here we go. Look at that. That's so gorgeous. So I'm going to use the Blue Sky Clear Builder Gel just to encapsulate that. using this a few times now and I really like it it's a really good gel it was it's been quite hot as well lately and it's doesn't it doesn't seem to change the viscosity at much it's it still stays where you put it which is really good I mean it does self level eventually but it's not like running everywhere like some of the other ones do which I really love so here they are all done and i'm just going to go in with some rubber base coat and do some crystal designs i didn't show you me choosing the crystals because i took about 82 years trying to pick which ones i wanted to use so they're all a variety of different ones from like Sheen and I don't think I've used any from Charlie's. It's just the um, glitters and the foils that are from Charlie's. So there's some of those um, iridescent flowers that I bought from the Sheen haul not that long ago. There and there. 
this nail I'm just completely covering the whole nail with rubber base coat and we're going to have a quite a large design going down the whole nail. So on this one I think we just have a little cuff around the top of the nail. I don't think I go into I don't want to cover up the transfer foil so I just sort of do a side cuff on this one. Which are quite pretty, I like them. And then filling in all the gaps with the caviar beads. It really does make a difference to the design when you just use a few caviar beads in the um, next to the crystals I find. So coming to the end of the video now, I hope you've enjoyed watching this different sort of video from me. Um, hit that like button subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bells because i've got loads of lovely collabs coming up soon and it'd be great if you could join me for those so here we are the final result and i'm really happy with how they turned out they're a nice summery set lots of bling <laughs>